So, Paul, tell me what is dank, and I'm not talking about uh, what you might find at your local cannabis dispensary. <laughs> I thought you were going to go the memes route, but great, great, well played. So it's this stuffing-all-associated neutrophil count, which dank, it's a great acronym, I, I love it, but this neutropenia that is non-pathologic, it's this cause of a neutrophil count that is lower than probably the normal reference range. Typically, when you find it on labs, they've been sort of stably low, usually a neutrophil count I don't know, hovering around a thousand or maybe a little bit less than that, not profoundly low, and the patients will typically not have things like fevers or recurrent infections, those kinds of things. Just an abnormal lab value that kind of makes you sort of scratch your head. And in cases like this where you sort of see these stable sort of mild neutropenias without any kind of clinical manifestations, no other explanations, you may be looking at this dank phenotype, which is benign and just requires reassurance and, and monitoring. Yes, and this is found in sub-Saharan Africa in a, pretty, in a pretty high degree there. And the main reason we care about this is because the CBCs that we're used to looking at are mostly calibrated to European populations. So when you then look at like a sub-Saharan population or populations that might have this, then you might accidentally <laughs> say like, oh, this person has something wrong. You might start working them up and causing anxiety. Some of these people might get like bone marrow biopsies that they don't need. So I think really kind of recalibrating our thinking about neutrophil counts and making sure that you're not missing a case where someone's neutrophil count is perfectly normal. They have this Duffy Null associated um, neutrophil count. They don't have any pathologic neutropenia. It's an important, important one to notice.